director and, and star of the movie is Mike Norris, son of uh, Chuck Norris, and we want to welcome Mike to Talk of the Town. Mike, good morning, and thanks for being on with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Boy, that sounds like a good trailer. Let me tell you something. Uh, I, I've, I've been, we've planned this for about a week. I've sent it around to some friends, and I thought, you know, am, am I the only person who's geeked up over this? Everybody I've shown this to, even even some of my liberal friends, yes, I have some, just are are just enthralled by the whole premise. And the other thing that, of course, on the radio that they wouldn't be able to tell on that is the quality of this movie. This is not some, you know, bargain basement, you know, budget movie that was shot in somebody's garage. Uh, top quality actors, top quality sets. Um, y you've got a winner on your hands. I really believe that. Well, I, I appreciate that very, very much. Um, you know, it, it really was an uh, independent film all the way through. Um, but when uh, Gary Haven, who actually wrote the screenplay, um, you know, we kind of part we partnered up on a film before this just to kind of get to know each other on a working relationship and uh, on a film called Missionaire. And then he goes, now, I want to do a film that is, you know, what I'm interested in. And I go, great. And so he'd written a screenplay, and I'm reading the screenplay going, wow, um, this is kind of out there. What is this about? What's an EMP strike, uh, martial law, um, taking away the guns? And it was very apparent very early on in the process of this movie that we were wanting to make a film that was more than just a movie. It is a movie but it was very much a message and very much a cause. And it was really important on my end that I delivered that for uh, Mr. Haven. And um, it was just a, a huge blessing to be able to do this because, you know, I come from more of the faith drama background, and then all of a sudden I'm both feet into this big political action thriller movie. And uh, it was just a ball. We had a great time doing it. Well, of course, your father Chuck has, uh, in in the later stages of his career, has not been shy about uh, sharing his political views, and obviously that's carried over. I mean, what kind of effect did that have on you when you saw him? Obviously, in Hollywood, when you step out and say, I'm a conservative, I'm a Christian, I stand for these things, you're taking a big risk. When you saw your father willing to do that, what kind of effect did that have on, on your you and your willingness to go forward? It would it had an absolutely huge impact on me. Um, you know, I think every child looks to their father, and um, a lot of their moral compass comes from what they see with their parents. And I saw that from my father. I saw his patriotism. I I, I saw all these wonderful qualities about him, and and I wanted to replicate that. I wanted to be like my dad. Now, there's only one Chuck Norris. I will never fill those shoes. But in my own way, I'm able to go out now with my voice and say, hey, th these are things that I believe in. These are uh, causes that I believe in also. But to be able to really have a front row seat as a teenager and see my father go from being a karate instructor to one of the biggest movie stars in the world was hugely impactful for me. And um, it, it was just great to be able to witness that firsthand and and i'd like to be able to carry on that tradition in with my own thought process uh in the film industry so it, it was a huge impact we're, we're talking with mike norris son of chuck norris and uh and more importantly for the purpose of this interview the director of amerageddon and you can find a link where you can see that trailer that you just heard on our Facebook page, WTIB Facebook page. Also, if you just Google, I don't want to spend my time spelling on the air, but if you'll just Google Amerigeddon, it'll come up and you'll see Amerigeddon the movie and you can see that. You can see all about the cast. Uh, I, I, if, you know, I feel bad because this is such a quality cast, I'll be leaving out some special people. But just to give you an idea that once again, this is an independent film, but you didn't run an, in, down to the, you know, the local acting school and pull some people out. In this cast is Diane Ladd. Diane Ladd's been <laughs> nominated for three Academy Awards. Yes, I mean, now four. She just got her fourth one for the movie Joy. 
Well, okay, four. So she's got a four. I mean, th this is. I mean, this is the real deal here. And I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you what what my reaction was when I first saw the trailer. I, I joked with somebody. The only thing that it's missing is Chuck Norris jumping out from behind one of those sandbags during the firefight. I mean, <laughs> it was a edge of your seat action movie, and my wheels were already turning when I saw the faces of. Uh, you know, the, the members of our armed forces, when the commanding officer says, you know, your mission is to disarm the public, and you could see the young man going, wait a minute now, I, I got a dilemma. I'm not sure this is what I signed up for. And when you saw the whole UN, and listen, this is stuff that we've heard about in the real world where we've had members of our armed forces that have been working on UN uh, missions overseas that says, hey, my, my loyalties to that flag on my, uh, on, on my sleeve, the United States one, not to the UN. And uh, so there's so much real world in this that I really think this is going to be a, a, a powerful movie, not just for conservatives, for anybody who likes the genre. Yeah, I, I, I believe so. I, I really hope so, because it was very meticulously thought out. Um, we did not want to, you know, there's a bunch of great movies out that will touch on stuff like this that will be a theme of the movie, but they dress it up really beautiful with a $200 million budget like a Hunger Games or, or, or even some of the superhero movies. They, they touch on things like this, but they don't um, dive deep. And, and what we wanted to do, we wanted to strip away everything and get right to the facts of the matter. These are issues that are happening in our country. These are very real issues that are happening in our country. And it seems to be about half the population just refuses, for whatever reason, to believe it. Just, they don't want to believe it. They don't want to hear it. Then there's another segment of the population that, yeah, I get it. I understand what's happening. But, uh, you know, I, I just don't want to kind of touch on these things right now. But there's a growing segment of the population of people that are awakened to what is going on within our government, what is the, the money, how money dictates everything in the government. And it was very important that we just stripped everything away, told facts that are actual facts, and it's like Gary, our executive producer and the writer, who said, this is a true story that just hasn't happened yet. And, um, Mike, the, the other thing is, obviously, as I was talking about the, the quality and the production of this film, it didn't just happen overnight, the writing and everything. But do you feel like there was almost some divine intervention when you look at the political scene, that what's happening now on both sides, as far as the, the way that the people are uh, kind of, uh, maybe I, I want to go ahead and use the word rebelling against a couple of those words that you mentioned, the big money, the money control, and the establishment. Uh, it, it's like the political landscape now nationally is lining up perfect for the, the premise of your movie. A absolutely. We started this film um, almost two years ago. When we started writing it about two years ago, and it was really... All it was really foresight of Gary Haven, who is very well researched in all these areas. I'm a film director. I'm raising children. Uh, you know, and so my mind was okay. Work. Uh, get you know. Make sure my kids are good. Their grades are good. And that was kind of my mindset. But as the movie went on, we began filming. During while we were filming, all of a sudden they start running Jade Helm drills down here in Texas, and everybody goes. Wow, that's weird. That's kind of what's going on in our movie. And then when we're in post-production, North Korea starts going crazy, shooting off missiles everywhere, and we're like, whoa, wait a second. That's part of our movie. Yep. Um, so, I, hey, divine would be a divine appointment would be a perfect word for how this movie has come about. Now, did we ever expect that our election would turn out like this and uh, all of a sudden a uh, little film we've got and we're trying to get it out to the masses um, have just overtaken the landscape of our country? But with that being said, it's also given people a chance to kind of, I think, uh, open up their minds a little bit and... You know, as crazy as things may sound, a lot of questions are now being asked right. um, just by the narrative of the election.
Mike. So it's uh, it's perfect timing. Um, I wish it wasn't so busy out there, but it is what it is, and and we push forward. Mike, we just got about a, a minute left in the segment. The the movie is premiering uh, at certain locations across the nation. The closest one to us is Charlotte, which is a few hours away. Some folks, I think, when they see the trailer, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna make an effort to do it, but. There's a lot of folks out there, very conservative, Christian, Second Amendment people. If you can't go see the movie, isn't it important to, to go to the website, to sign up, to, to find out what you're doing and be involved in almost this movement? Because what the ultimate goal is, is to have this distributed you know, nationwide. Absolutely. If week one, if the first weekend we have um, a level of success, we are prepared to expand rapidly the next weekend it will it will be in a theater near you great well mike once again we appreciate you uh spending the time with us this morning mike norris director of the film amerigeddon please you can go to our facebook page and find it or just google amerigeddon the movie watch the trailer uh sign up for the email updates and email all your friends if you're a patriot a second amendment person uh, you need to spread the word, and if you just love good theater, uh, you're going to want to see this. Mike, thanks again for being on with us, and uh, we look forward to much success with the movie. Thank you so much, and God bless you all.